Hi, welcome to another episode of Then We Eat. If this is the first time you're visiting, thanks for stopping by. If you're a regular, thanks for joining us again. On this week's episode, we'll be making bruschetta. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our tomato. My recipe calls for two medium-sized tomatoes. These are Romas, these are fresh from our garden. I just picked them this morning. I've got five because they're smaller and I think that'll be what, what, what I'm gonna need. So the first thing I need to do is I need to cut them in half and take all the seeds out. So I have two bowls here. I've got my clear bowl for my tomatoes and the cucumbers. And I have a bowl for my seeds and my discards. So I have to make sure that I don't mix these two bowls up. So we're just gonna scoop out the seeds. Try and keep as much of the tomato as you can. You just wanna remove the seeds. Carry on doing this for all five of the tomatoes. We'll be back when I'm ready to chop them. Okay, so my tomatoes are all cut and seeded. Now it's time to chop them. So we're going to dice these into small pieces, a small dice. Okay, so my tomato is all cut up. Let's put it in the bowl. Now the next thing we need is a cucumber. I've got two field cucumbers here that I picked up at the grocery store. The cucumber is the only thing from the garden that didn't want to grow this year. I also have one cucumber left over from some pickles so I'm going to throw it in as well. So the next thing we need to do is peel the cucumber and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut it and take all the seeds out and then dice it nice and small. So you want to do the same thing with the cucumber as you did with the tomato. Take out as just the seeds, leave as much of the cucumber as you can. And the same with the cucumber as the tomato, you want to cut it up about the same size. Okay, so now let's add the cucumber to our bowl with the tomatoes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up one clove of garlic. Again, this is fresh from our garden this year. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll chop up six tablespoons of fresh basil. This is our basil. Again, I picked it fresh this morning. We'll do the garlic first. So I'm going to chop up the garlic nice and fine. Okay, I actually needed two cloves of garlic. I forgot that I was doubling the recipe. I want to make sure that I have enough garlic to go with my cucumber and tomato and the one clove of garlic just is not enough. So we'll see if, if the second clove is enough. If it's not, I'll add a little bit more. Okay, so that looks like enough garlic. So we'll put the garlic in the bowl. And we'll get our six tablespoons of basil chopped. So this is our basil. And I find the easiest way of doing this is to gather a few leaves together. Get your leaves all together. Roll them into a little roll and just start to chop. And just like that, you've got chopped basil. So that is, equals about six tablespoons. So let's put that in. So to our bowl, I need to add two tablespoons of olive oil and then I need two teaspoons of red wine vinegar and then just a hint of salt and pepper. You can always adjust your salt and pepper after if you feel it needs more. Now we'll give that a quick mix. And there you have it, there's your bruschetta. But we're not done yet. We need something to eat the bruschetta on. So we're going to cut a baguette, toast it in the oven, rub some garlic on it, and that will be the basis for us to eat the bruschetta. So here's my baguette. It's a nice fresh baguette that I picked up this morning from Big Waters Bakery here in Athens. Thank you very much. I look forward to trying it. So the way we're going to cut this is we're going to cut it on an angle to try and get as much bread space as we can. We'll save the nub for the end. Okay, so we're going to cut it about that thick, half an inch maybe. Okay, so there's my baguette cut up. I'm gonna put it on a cookie sheet. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brush it with a little bit of olive oil, and then we're going to broil it for a few minutes just to get them nice and crispy. And there we go. I'm just gonna broil this for a couple minutes so it gets nice and crispy. We'll be back when the bread is cooked. Okay, so our bread's out of the oven. 
The very last step is to rub a clove of garlic over the top to give it a nice garlic flavor. This is hot, so you watch your fingers. And you don't need a lot of garlic. The flavor comes through in waves. And there you have it, garlic bread. Then you're just gonna take a piece of your bread, put a little bit of your brochette on top, and there you have it. I'll make up a couple more, and then we'll be back to taste it. Now the best part, time to taste it. Looks good. Mm. Because the, the vegetables are so fresh, you can really taste the freshness. Lovely flavor from the tomato, nice flavor from the cucumber, the basil flavor shines through, and you can taste the garlic as well. Overall, this is fantastic. Makes a nice summertime appetizer. So thanks very much for watching. Hit the like button if you liked the video, share with all your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment down below. Do you make bruschetta? Is this what you put into yours? Or better yet, what else would you like to see us make? And don't forget, first we cook, then we eat.